Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. We haven't done a how to install Kali Linux video in quite some time. It used to be that I did a video on every major release, um, but uh, nothing much has changed in the previous few releases, so I didn't do a new video. Uh, now it's still the latest version is uh, Kali Linux 2020.4, and uh, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux 2020.4 on Windows using VirtualBox the easiest possible way. So let's get right to it, let's not waste any time, and I'll meet you over at the computer. One more little thing before we get started guys, if you want to join an exclusive Discord channel uh, you can go over to Patreon or you can join the YouTube membership tiers and join us in there, talk directly with me if you're a patron or a YouTube subscriber and supporter and of course also please subscribe to the YouTube channel, it really helps me out if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and maybe even leave a comment, uh, that would really really help my channel. Uh, okay, let's get right to Kali. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, to install Kali Linux on a Windows 10, we need to first install Oracle VirtualBox. Now go to Google, just type in VirtualBox download or follow the link in the description below. By the way, there is also a written article for this tutorial that you can follow along if that makes you more comfortable. I'll leave the link to that in the upper right corner for you. Um, uh, then go to downloads or you directly see the downloads uh, link here go on it and what you want to download is this Windows hosts thing VirtualBox 6118 at this moment and you also want to go ahead and download the VirtualBox Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack so you just click on this. First you're going to install VirtualBox, I already have that installed here so I'm not going to do it again. It's possible that you need to restart your computer once you did that, um, but then right after installing the uh, VirtualBox, then you go ahead and install the extension pack, just follow through with everything, leaving everything on a default, that should work out perfectly fine for you. And uh, once you have that all installed, we are going ahead and we are going to download Kali Linux next. So again, go to Google and just type in Kali download. Then you come to the official Kali downloads page. And now the advantage of using VirtualBox is we don't actually have to go through the installation routine or what you would need to do if you install it on your local computer, but we can instead go ahead and we can scroll down here and I'll leave that link in the description and it's also in the article as well. You want to find Kali Linux 64-bit uh, virtual box, then you click on this available on the downloads page. And you have to scroll down and now you have to be careful because per default uh, it's opened Kali Linux VMware images and you don't want that so you close that or actually you just open the other one, Kali Linux VirtualBox images. That's what we want and we want to download the Kali Linux VirtualBox 64-bit OVA file. Okay, assuming you have everything downloaded, we can now go ahead and actually install Kali Linux. So open up VirtualBox, click on File, click on Import Appliance, and then click on this folder here to choose uh, your file. So you go to your Downloads folder and you select the Kali Linux 2020.4 VBox AMD64 OVA file. You don't need to unzip anything, just click on Open right away. Then you click on Next. And uh, then you have a couple of things that you can change here, but I like to do that later because it's more convenient to do it in the actual settings rather than here. The only thing I usually change here, which I also don't do now, is uh, I change the folder where I want to store the virtual machine file. And uh, that is usually on my separate hard drive that I have dedicated for VMs. If you don't have that, just leave it as it is. Don't worry about it. Click on import and the import will start after agreeing to the uh, license agreement here. So this takes anywhere between two and five minutes or something and I'll just pause the video right here and we'll be back once that is done. I hope you could see that down here when I clicked on import I just recognized that my webcam uh, was on the in the way but there's an import button down there you should be able to find it. Okay and the import is already done as well and the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, change some settings so right click DVM click on settings then the settings window opens and the first thing I want to do is I usually change the name to something less generic so we call it Kali 2020.4 whatever we don't need to change anything else right here the next thing we do is we go to the systems tab and in the systems tab you are able to allocate memory now I have 32 gigabytes of RAM in my computer so I have plenty of stuff to spare uh, if you have less just stick to this green bar here. As long as you are inside of this green bar, everything should be fine. As a general rule of thumb, you can say 
let's say you have eight gigabytes of RAM in your system, then it's perfectly fine to allocate four gigabytes of RAM to Kali Linux. Um, that should work fine but two gigabytes to start out is also okay you always have to check how much ram your operating system uses uh, to not get in any problems there so i'm going to just ramp it up to four gigs for now just to for the heck of it uh, next we go to the processor tab and this is the same rule of thumb that applies for memory so you go to uh, to give it as many processors as, as you can spare comfortably as you can see i have 16 cpus so i can easily dedicate four to that and as long as you stay in the green bar again, you are fine. Um, I think that's all we have to do right here. I want to keep this video as simple as possible, so I'm not going to go over storage and stuff like this. That's the topic for another video. And if you're interested in that, I have something on the blog. And then you click on OK. And we are basically done with the settings and we can start uh, the VM. Now, when I just recorded this tutorial for the first time, I had a problem that Kali Linux was stuck in the Kali when the Kali logo came up and I found a solution for that so if you run into this problem that your uh, Kali Linux is not booting up and basically gets stuck at the uh, Kali logo then uh, it has to do with Hyper-V and if you pull up the article that I link in the description there is a fix for that so it's very easy to fix it in case you run into that so let's right click it click on start and click on normal start Okay, now we're booting up for the first time and we're actually almost done guys, that's, that's how cool it is. That's how easy it is if you don't have to run through the installer. Now this boots up automatically and I hope we get past the Kali logo now. This is where it got stuck, now it didn't, which is great. And uh, then you can already log in. So the default login is Kali and the password is exactly the same. You come with a lower privileged user in, in the newer versions of Kali, which is great, so you're not a root user. And if that is confusing to you and you have no idea what that means, I have a fix for you. And you can see guest editions are already installed, so you don't have to install any extra stuff. Full screen is automatically working. That's an issue a lot of people run into usually when they install Kali Linux for the first time, that they don't get full screen to work and all of the extra features that VirtualBox has to offer. And yeah, that's really it. That's how to install Kali Linux 2020.4 on uh, Windows 10, the easiest way there is really and if you don't know where to go from here and i highly recommend you you follow those steps uh, that i have set up in an article that's simply top things to do after installing kali linux and if you type that into google or you uh, click in the link that i leave in the description below uh, there is the right there is the article that i have written and i'm just in the process of updating that article so there are all the steps necessary that you need to know uh, how to, what are the next steps. So the first step is, for example, here, making sure Kali is, and of course, sign up to my newsletter, that would be great. Um, making sure Kali is up to date and change the keyboard layout and all this kind of stuff. I go with you through each and every step. So it's definitely worth it to check it out because if you haven't used Kali Linux before, it can get very confusing and you can uh, leave your system potentially in an unsafe configuration. So I really highly recommend you to check out my article there as a next step. There will also be a new video on the top things how, uh, after installing Kali Linux very soon. And that's really all there is to it, guys. This is how to install Kali Linux on Windows 10 in 2021. I hope that was easy to follow. If it was, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. And again, check out my Patreon and maybe consider joining the YouTube membership tiers. Uh, with all that out of the way, guys, I wish you a successful rest of your day. And I see you back in the next video. Until then, guys. Bye.